Developing fairer societies, more sustainable economies, and stronger democracies depends on our ability to generate coordinated responses focusing on the values that unite us. And because in the world we want to live in, we all matter, it is crucial to work on integration and inclusion as core values and to assume them as a collective and permanent responsibility. Framed by this vision, we believe that in societies that are increasingly transformed by digital technology, it is necessary to use technology as a bridge and not as a barrier. The digital world must be developed for and with everyone, with accessible and easy-to-use services and taking advantage of tools that contribute to an autonomous and independent life for people with physical or cognitive limitations. And this topic is extremely relevant today. The COVID-19 disease has generated a crisis on a global scale that has exposed and enhanced economic and social inequalities, affecting in particular the most vulnerable groups of our populations. The government has therefore to work harder to ensure that digital acceleration boosted by the pandemic does not foster the development of new barriers. The accessibility of websites and mobile applications must be reinforced, deepening a path that began quite some time ago, if we recall that in 1999, Portugal was the first member state of the European Union to adopt accessibility requirements for the contents and services provided by public administration on the internet. Therefore, in 2020, in the midst of the pandemic, we promoted updates to the ePortugal website, the Portugal's single digital gateway, which currently provides information on service points, as well as more than 2,500 online services for citizens and businesses. We want to have a ePortugal even more accessible, so we keep working towards the provision of chat and video call service channels to support its use. We believe that public administration services should lead by example, which is why we have also launched the new accessibility portal with information and tools to support the implementation of good practices that ensure a better digital experience for all citizens. At the same time, we have launched a training program on digital accessibility and usability which has already trained more than 300 civil servants, as well as a new version of the Portuguese Web Accessibility Observatory that monitors compliance with the applicable rules. We are therefore committed to ensure that increasingly public services are born digital, simple and secure, and also accessible to all people, with navigation and access to all functionalities, independently of the user's profile and the device that ensures compatibility with the technologies used by citizens with special needs. This commitment unites all governmental areas and it is present in the strategic documents that support the government's action. The strategy for innovation and modernization of the state and public administration, for example, assumes that in 2023, 90% of the websites will have a usability and accessibility seal, a recognition of the public sector effort that can be distinguished with three levels of maturity, bronze, silver and gold. A demanding commitment with an ambitious work plan and engaged players to make Portugal even more inclusive in a more cohesive and digital Europe. <laughs>